as Maine fights the COVID-19 pandemic, the state is also at the forefront of the fight against climate change and is hoping to lead by example. New Center Maine's Sean Stackhouse is live for us this morning with more on that. Good morning, Sean. Sharon, good morning. Well, we have a much clearer idea of how the state will look to fight climate change in the coming years. On Tuesday, Governor Janet Mills, as well as multiple state agencies, releasing the first lead by example report, which highlights some of those goals. Now, this was authored by the Governor's Office of Energy, as well as the Governor's Office of Policy, Innovation and the Future. And it lines up with the state's four year climate action plan, Maine Won't Wait. It looks to highlight ways in which state agencies can curb greenhouse gas emissions and be more environmentally friendly. Some of the goals outlined to fight climate change include reduce state agencies greenhouse gas emissions by a further 30 percent by 2030, transition to 100 percent clean energy for state operations by 2024, and generate clean energy on state facilities and lands, purchase 100 percent light duty zero emission vehicles for the state fleet by 2030, and to assess the vulnerability of state owned infrastructure to climate change effects. Director of the Governor's Office of Policy, Innovation and the Future, Hannah Pingray, saying in a statement, using this report as a blueprint, the state has an opportunity to advance Maine's climate leadership by setting an example for modern, forward-looking government operations that continue our fight against climate change while supporting state workers and reducing costs to taxpayers. Now, this is the first lead by example report. It was ordered by Governor Mills back in 2019 and will be issued every two years. You can read more about the rest of these changes as what's going to happen as Maine looks to fight climate change on our website and mobile app. Live in Augusta this morning, Sean Stackhouse, New Center, Maine.